Hey babe, come outside. I want to show you something on the RS6. What do you think? I've been on the road. I've been doing shows. Now we in steak. Remember sleeping on the floor. We're still in at the gas station when the time's go. In the kitchen, hot still trying to flip it out the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody know. Watch them take my dog away. It was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day. All this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day. Green light, it's time to go. I don't want to live life fast or die too young. Die too young. Hundred miles per hour might crash because a good die young. Get a good die young. I don't want to live life fast or die too young. a G-Wagon and no I'm not talking Mercedes they got it all wrong this right here my friends is a gangster <laughs> wagon <laughs> oh my god Boston Boston you guys just you guys just know what you're doing you're so humble you just let your product speak for itself look at the fitment on this all right so I hate to be the guy that's like puts new wheels on and then immediately calls things out but like What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to a gorgeous day in Pennsylvania and uh, welcome to the day that I'm going to show you guys what is part of the completed package of what I see as the ideal RS6 Avant. We just picked this car up literally like I think it was three weeks ago now, maybe two. I, I don't really even know. I haven't really kept track of it all that well, but the thing's been absolutely incredible. It's actually hidden here in the she shed today. It's quite windy. We've got Keg's custom detailing out, doing what he does best, cleaning up the fleet. I mean, we got a long list of vehicles on his roster today. Then we got some electricians out there. They're actually putting in some fans inside of the pole building today. We need them very bad. We don't have any air conditioning in the building. I might end up putting it in eventually. I'm just trying to kind of avoid it. It's a big expense and I'm trying to think with the insulation and trying to keep the doors at least closed, it could stay cool. So I got some high volume, low speed fans that will hopefully move around and mix up some of the humidity. So we got that going on. Now, I know you have your notifications turned on if you're catching this video on the 14th of June, but I just wanted to let you guys know, especially for my early notification watchers, that tomorrow, 20 times entries are actually returning because it's the middle of the giveaway and it's the middle of the month. That happened to be a coincidence, but we wanted to bring back the max multiplier for Dream Deals Giveaway 25, but it only lasts actually for one day. It ends on the 15th of June, 2022 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So just a little heads up, if you're catching this video on the 14th, catching it on the 15th, well, your timing was perfect. And that truck and you might just be totally meant to be. All right, guys, so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and open up the garage here. I'm actually locked out, but when I got my garage door opener synced to an app on my phone, it's very nice, because if you're like me and forgetful and forget your keys all the time, you can still uh, you can still get into your house, which, which, is, which is nice. She's freshly cleaned by Keg, and this was the first vehicle on his list for the day. Keg's a big Audi guy. He's actually working on an Audi project himself. One day you'll probably see it. But today, boys and girls, I get to introduce to you what is my version of the G-Wagon. No, it's not a Mercedes. No, it's not an SUV, guys. This is a gangster wagon right here. <laughs> and it is so sick. I got to get it outside and show you guys what I'm talking about here. So let's get a little Capristo quad carbon titanium tip exhaust cold start action on the vlog, shall we? Right there is valves closed and then open on a cold start 
This thing sounds amazing, but I may or may not have a few other plans to make it sound even better. But let's embrace the current state of which it is because the Capristo exhaust opened this thing up so much. One thing from the factory that the RS6 is, is very reserved with the exhaust, but that is uh, a work in progress. This car's got a few modes. It's got comfort, normal, and dynamic. We're in dynamic right now. It's pretty cool. It holds out the shifts for a little longer, and it actually kind of opens up the exhaust valves even more. The Capristo exhaust, unlike the factory exhaust, is controlled by vacuum. So we connected a vacuum line, and then we basically just tricked the sensors that were electronically controlled by mounting them the brackets and kind of just holding them back in the bumper. This is what you can hear when you're driving the car. We're doing 73 miles an hour right now on the freeway, and it's casual. Now, If you step into it, it certainly opens up quite a bit and it sounds amazing. Like these 4.0 liter V8 twin turbos have this kind of crazy fluttery style, yet deep and bassy exhaust. I really like it a lot, but I do think with some modifications kind of upstream from the exhaust that we did, it's going to sound even better, a little bit louder. Honestly, I'm coming out of an 850 horsepower C7 Z06 and the Capristo exhaust on the R8 was significantly louder because, well, the exhaust was behind me, not in front of me, and it had way less piping to get that kind of audible note that I was seeking. I'm a car guy, I want it to be a little bit louder. I seek that visceral experience but I needed to do the Capristo exhaust first because genuinely this car would not make the harmonic sounds that I'm seeking without it in place and I love this exhaust plus the cool thing is right here is the controller now there's two controllers there's a remote control one that you can keep on your keys or this one I put this one in the 12 volt it's got four buttons on it one two three four one is all the way quiet two and three are kind of like sport active mode so it'll open the valves at certain points on the RPMs and then there's four that just always open. I pretty much run one when I have the family in the car. Beautiful thing about a wagon right there, boys and girls. And then we got four, which is all the way open, which I pretty much cruise in all the time. And dynamic mode is essentially always on unless doing some sort of a long road trip because comfort mode in this thing is very, very comfortable to say the least. The cool thing about maintaining those valves though is that you can keep it quiet when you've got the family in the car and you really don't want it to be obnoxious when you're just cruising with the wife and kid. Oh, boys and girls. Check out the Avant. We have transformed this thing so much in the last like two weeks. It's kind of crazy. Like I had said, when I took delivery of this car, there was a bunch of stuff that already had tracking numbers and was in route to Pennsylvania. And one of those components were wheels from Boston. So the last time you guys have seen Boston on the channel, it was for the white SRT that I surprised my wife with. I absolutely love that car, but it was a little bit too much of a vehicle for her. So we got her back into a Wrangler. She's very happy now. Happy wife, happy life. You know what I mean? But I love those Boston wheels that were on it. And I knew one day I would be getting another set for a future vehicle. I was actually planning a set of Boston's for the Audi R8, but an opportunity to sell it came up to my buddy Adam. And I then kind of set my sights on something just a little bit different, something that gives gives me the ability to have that same euphoria as an R8, yet I can bring my little man around. That's very important to me. I love being a dad. I'm equally as passionate about being a father as I am about building OEM Plus cars. And well, I couldn't get OEM Plus without this set of 22 by 10 and a half gloss black Vossen HF5s. These are the Audi RS6 Avant C8, which is the eighth generation spec. They are a little bit more of an offset and a very deep concave both front and rear same spec and you guys can see it brings the center of that hub in pokes the outer part of the spokes out and it looks extremely aggressive i did stick with a 22 mostly because i have a 20 inch ceramic brake setup on this car you can't really go all that much smaller plus it's a pretty big vehicle all things considered and the 22s look great plus an additional added benefit to that is i could pull the factory tires off these are 285 30 22 pirelli p zeros and also pull the tpms sensors out of the factory wheels to put into this combo so we're ready to rock and roll i gotta i gotta give a massive shout out to Boston for just doing an absolutely incredible job this thing looks amazing and these guys really take a lot of time to engineer the perfect spec wheel for the car they've got the offset dial they do a fitment that is basically flush with the outer fender but what's nice is no rub at all no rub up front and then that brings us to suspension so this car has essentially like air ride on it it's like a magnetic ride control and it has Hadley arms so Hadley arms are what we put on recoil for instance it's a reference point for the car from a fixed point to a fixed point typically the frame to the lower control arm like on this car right here so I took the factory Hadley arms off and put three inch shorter ones on the front and the rear they are adjustable so I can tweak them if need be what it does is it tricks the computer when it lowers down to actually go to its calibrated setting which now is lower and that's how we drop the car so so for 80 bucks, we lowered this car down. It was one of the simplest jobs I have ever done. And I can actually raise it up if need be 
which I like a lot because some situations definitely call for a little bit more clearance. All right guys, so now for the plot twist, we are actually going to head back to the house. My wife hasn't seen the car yet. She just got home from being out of town for the last few days with her friend. She was down the beach. She absolutely loves this thing. She jumps in it all of the time. That's like another reason that I absolutely love the RS6 Avant because it's like a usable, really epic car that you can just do a whole bunch of stuff with. So we're actually going to pull up to the house and we are going to surprise her with it real quick. We're gonna get a reaction to what she thinks about its new look because the last time she's seen it, it was totally stock on the exterior. It wasn't lowered and it didn't have these absolutely epic wheels on it. Hey babe, come outside. I want to show you something on the RS6. I changed something on the car while you were away for the last like two days. I'm shocked. Do you notice anything different from the front? You can't leave anything alone is what I do now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also losing my voice, which I obviously can't keep stock at all. So honey, remember when I told you I was going to buy this great car that we were just going to drive every day and it's going to be fantastic? Um, we're gonna drive it every day still. I think you said word for word, it doesn't need anything. It's perfect the way that it is, but it's got a lot of potential. So I happened to change it a little bit. Come on over here and take a look at the Avant, my lady. <laughs> what do you think? Do you got new wheels? <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? I'm losing my voice, do you hear this? Listen, you're not the first person in the family that had Vossens, so quit acting like you're the cat's meow. Wow, I can't even hide the brand the from you? The real M Vossen P. See this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you need to marry the girl. The real of most your dreams. Vossen player was me. <laughs> I know, it was on what car? I Trivia, I'm the Dirty Max Jack YouTube channel. Oh, if you can guess it. I actually already talked about it earlier on the vlog. Oh, Darn it. I thought we could do like a fun trivia. <laughs> that would be kind of cool, but how sick are they? Well, they look awesome. They're bad to the bone. So they're 22s. Kyle hooked us up from Boston down there. Oh, this I thing this thing needed me. Boston's, didn't it? So bad. My God, it, it, it was, needed It was nothing. horrible without All it. All of a sudden. It was absolutely terrible without it. Come on. It just didn't have the flair and personality. And honestly, well, it didn't look like, like it was going to snatch wagon. your soul. Now it's like a dad wagon. It's like, I said to everybody that it's a G-Wagon, but it's not a Mercedes, it's a gangster wagon. The gangster wagon. <laughs> Dang, the, the dadster wagon. <laughs> <laughs> I love them, the wheel looks great. Everyone on the channel is shocked that you bought a white car, you tinted it, and got black wheels. Is we, it predictable? We never saw it coming. <laughs> I better hold onto my pants, they might fly off in shock. <clears throat> oh my God, you'd be that surprised? Oh my God, you got a white car. Oh my God, you tinted in. <gasps> oh my God, I got black, black wheels, wheels for it. <laughs> so what do you think, honey? Do you like it? I love it. It looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks, it looks awesome. Well, aren't you planning on taking it tonight? Yeah, it's actually the mom wagon. Yeah, my wife loves to take the wagon. She loves it and drives it all the time. And the cool thing about it is, babe, I actually did something else. That, I don't know if you noticed or not. You got it cleaned. Well, yeah, Keg's got some detail and did an absolute great job. He's actually, he just left. But did you notice something else about it? It might be a little bit more subtle, maybe not so direct. I lowered it. Oh. But the cool thing is, if you get inside and you hit the button on the screen, it'll raise itself up. And you don't have to really be stressed because the ground clearance is super good. So I'm gonna be like that movie, like where the people are in the cars and it's like. No, no. not like that at oh. all. It's actually still seriously very, very smooth to drive. You can get in though. Get in losers, we're going to my mom's house. <laughs> Get, get in, in losers, we're going to grandma's house. So you can raise it up. That's what I wanted to tell you. I don't want you to stress about it. So my wife is like the nicest person in the entire world and she obviously right. never wants to scratch the bump or anything like that. Okay. When you drove the Corvette, you were very worried about scraping it, scratching it, hitting the bumper, the whole nine yards. Okay, and that tires. Oh my God, this, this is not cool, babe. Watch that video for a good prank. <laughs> But this one, you can raise up. And speaking of, guys. Is that red thing new? No, those are your brakes. Uh, <laughs> oh, they came with the car? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't change those. I don't think I'm going to change those. So, babe, out of a 1 to 10, what do you give it? I give it a Dirty Max Classic. I give it a... Just kidding. <laughs> a to a t seriously, a 2? No, it's just our son's second birthday next week. Yeah, it is. Little man's turning 2. Yeah, okay, that was a joke. That was a joke. I give it a 10 out of 10. This is the cool thing right here, guys. This car not only moves, it scoots. Now it looks absolutely freaking awesome. We can actually pack a whole bunch of stuff up in it. Because he's jealous. He's not in the vlog. So I got it ready for you, babe. You got your wheels. You got the lowering links. You got the Capristo exhaust. You're going to be looking like a true badass now cruising down the road. Not a question of a doubt. Boston's is back, baby. Oh, oh yeah, man. We just had her detailed, little dude. It's all good. We'll take you for a ride in the lawnmower later. So surprise, babe. I had to pull a quick one on you. I never saw it coming. I'm sure. 
If there's one thing I love about you, is your style never disappoints. She's beautiful, isn't she? So it might be predictable, but... I wasn't talking about the car, babe. I'm talking about you. You're very beautiful. Car is too, though. <laughs> it's sick, right? The other girl in your lap. So guys, the R6 is not complete. There are still other things that I'm going to be adding what? to this car to... Shit, I probably shouldn't have said anything. You told me this car didn't need anything. It doesn't need anything. It just needs a few things. Minor things. Like what? Little you things. said nothing. Um, just, just... We're gonna have to leave that for another video. Literally. Boys and girls, get at it for Dream Days Giveaway 25 if you haven't already. You can't leave anything alone. Tap that subscribe button on your way out. Thanks for watching, guys. Love y'all. We'll okay. see y'all in the next, next upload. See you in the next upload. Oh, and don't forget, Little Jack's turning two this month. So drop a comment, tell us how old your kids are, what was your favorite age, and best advice for parents of a two-year-old. Thank you. Don't show them the keys. That was, that was my mistake. Now my son knows how to start everything and I have to lock them up. Actually, seriously. I hate to be the guy that's like, puts new wheels on and then immediately calls things out, but like the rear's gotta go a little lower. But it's cool because we have magnetic airbag ride control and I can just do that with the adjustable paddling.